So the question is, let m be the smallest positive integer such that the coefficient of x square in the expansion of 1 plus x square, 1 plus x cube, 1 plus x to the power 4, and it goes up to 49, and plus 1 plus mx to the power 50 is 3n plus 1, 51c3, for some positive integer n, then I need to find the value of n. Now, what I'll do is, first I'll simplify this series. Now, it's a geometric progression. First term, 1 plus x whole square, common ratio, 1 plus x, and then number of terms, 48. So, if I'll simplify it, I'll write 1 plus x whole square, this is a, and then r, which is 1 plus x, number of terms, 48, minus 1 upon r minus 1, 1 plus x minus 1, and then plus 1 plus mx to the power 50. So here I'll cancel this one. I'll multiply 1 plus x whole square. So I'll write 1 plus x to the power 50, and then minus 1 plus x whole square upon x plus 1 plus mx to the power 50. And from this series, or from this expansion, I need to find coefficient of x square. Now from this first expression, I have this x in the denominator. So whatever I get, if I get x to the power r, so I'll reduce it by 1. So I'll eventually get x to the power r minus 1. So if I have to find coefficient of x square from this expression, so from the numerator, I need to find coefficient of x cube in 1 plus x to the power 50 minus 1 plus x whole square and from this one I'll just need to find coefficient of x square in 1 plus mx to the power 50. Now x cube I cannot get x cube from this expression because the highest power here is 2. So the coefficient of x cube from this expression will simply will be 50c3 so ncr. Now what about this one? So from this one if I'll get the coefficient of x square, I'll get this coefficient as 50c2 into m square. Now it says this expression, it is equal to 3n plus 1, 51c3. So this is 3n plus 1 into 51c3. So I can simply write it as 50c3 plus 50c2 m square and this is 3n plus 1 into 51c3. I'll convert these binomial coefficients into factorial. So this is factorial 50, factorial 3, factorial 47, factorial 50, factorial 2, factorial 48 and then this is 3n plus 1 and then it will be factorial 51, factorial 3, and then factorial 48. Now, I'll write, so I'll take factorial 50 common. I'll also take factorial 2 common. And I'll also take factorial 47 common. So what I'm left with is 1 by 3. And here I'll get m square by 48. And here I'll write 3n plus 1. So this is 51 into factorial 50 and this is 3 into factorial 2 and this is 48 into factorial 47. So factorial 47, factorial 2, factorial 50 will cancel. So if I take LCM, I can write 16 plus m square upon 48 is equal to 3n plus 1 into 51 by 3 into 48, so 48 it will cancel and there will be 17, so I can write it as 16 plus m square and this is 51 n plus 17, so I can write n as m square minus 1 upon 51. Now I need to put the value of m so that m square minus 1 upon 51 results in a positive integral value n and this m has to be the smallest value. So I can start with 1, 2, 3, 4. So eventually if you'll work it out, 
So I think the value of m you should get is 16. So I'll write m as 16. So there'll be 16 square minus 1 upon 51. So there'll be 16 plus 1, 17. 16 minus 1 is 15, which is 51, 3 and 5. So I'll get the smallest positive value of m at 16. And for that value of n, the value of n will result in 5. So answer to this question will be the value of n should be 5.